I've been having some trouble with the airflow on my 80 series Land Cruiser on air conditioning. The flow rate has been a little down on what I would like. On full volume you can only just feel it blowing. It, it feels a little bit like it's starving for air or blocked somewhere in the system. So I'm going to be cleaning out the evaporator box which is located under the glove box on the passenger side of the vehicle. To do this you'll need to remove the glove box and a few other things. This video is a step by step of how to do it. The tools I used to get into the evaporator box, um, not a great amount. The flexi shaft on the drill was very very handy. First take the glove box out. Then remove the metal brace that goes behind the glove box. On my car you can see that it has been butchered in a few places and there's a few extra screws here and there the previous owner has put in either to stop rattles or to hold cracked pieces of plastic. I make sure to put these back because otherwise things start to fall apart. You can also see that there is extra wires from wiring that has previously been done on this car. Uh, some of it may not be up to scratch, I've been gradually working through it. The first thing I checked was the fan. I pulled this off the bottom just to see if there was any rubbish inside. It's a simple pull off with three bolts, hex head or flathead screwdrivers. Once I got inside I found there was a few leaves and some debris sitting inside. I also did pull it off and take it outside the car and wash all the fins off with water as they were a bit dusty. I don't show this in the video. It is pretty simple to pull out and put back in. You may want the passenger seat as far back as you can get it just to allow the access in. The second thing I checked was the evaporator box. It appears that uh, it has been removed or played with before because some of the screws and clips were missing. I loosened off all the screws and bolts so that I could get it as free as possible. I couldn't take the whole bottom box off but that suited fine because as I washed it out the water ran out the drain hole and down underneath the car. You can see inside that there was a lot of muck and leaves and debris that had collected in here over time. There was also a lot of muck built up on the fins which would have been hindering the airflow through this device and not allowing as much air to come out. The air in my air conditioner was still cold 
it just didn't have the flow and volume that I would have liked. I used CT18 Super Wash, it's a truck wash in a pressure pack mixed up at the correct ratio. I squirted this in over all the fins and then I got the garden hose and put it in. You'll see that I had to put plastic in because the water did spill over the sides, not all of it could fit out the drain plug. Um, it spilled over the sides and down into the car. The sheet of plastic took all of this out, my carpet didn't even get wet. The drain plug did block up occasionally from time to time. I used the hose to blow backwards up through the system to free this. And every time I did this, I would get a heap of gunk come out. The water would run black and full of muck and then run free and drain as I put more water up into the evaporator. I continued to spray the truck wash in and then keep hosing. At one point I did reach in and get all the loose debris that had fallen off out with my hands and just threw that to the side. After doing this, once putting everything back together, I turned the fan and the air conditioner back on. I had nearly doubled or more the airflow coming out of the vents and it is ice cold. It runs heaps better. I would recommend keeping an eye on this unit depending on how frequently it's been cleaned or changed. Uh, made a massive difference in my car. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.